U.S. military targets ISIS with drone killer system. The U.S. Air Force has reportedly spent $15 million on Israeli-made anti-drone equipment that can counter the small drones used by ISIS as weapons. The drone guard system is equipped with drone detection and tracking algorithms. It also has 3D radars that can detect airborne targets from a range of 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers. Once the system detects a hostile drone, it emits jamming signals that can send the drone back to its point of origin or shut it down to make a crash landing. Israel Aerospace Industry said last year that it had sold the drone guard system to several customers, but did not disclose the details of the buyers. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more about anti-drone technologies. Anti-drone system protects against spying. A Singaporean company has designed a system that can help protect against the unwanted intrusion of drones fitted with cameras. SkyDroner is an anti-drone surveillance system that can detect drones up to a kilometer away. It has multiple sensors that allow it to reveal information about a nearby drone, such as its model. It can also interfere with the drone's radio frequencies and even take over control, such as by sending it back to its operator or forcing it to land at a designated location. The system is being marketed to police departments, defense departments, and airports. Dutch police train eagles to take down drones. Dutch police are tackling a high-tech problem with a low-tech solution, training eagles to take down drones. This video released by the force shows the majestic birds of prey learning to combat potential scourges of the sky. Although still in the testing phase, police said this new flying squad could be used to neutralize drones flown by criminals or terrorists. Earlier this month, a British think tank warned terrorists could use drones as airborne explosive devices or to attack world leaders. A Dutch police spokesman explained that the eagles see the drones as prey. Once it has plucked the device from the sky, an eagle will take it to a place where there are no other birds or people. The police will make a decision on whether to set up a dedicated anti-drone eagle unit within the next few months. The force said it was also examining several other ways to combat drones, including equipment to remotely take control of the devices. Drone Defender Rifle uses radio waves to disable drones. Shooting a drone or UAV out of the sky with a shotgun is potentially both illegal and dangerous, but a new weapon may soon provide an effective and non-violent way of disabling unwanted UAVs. The Ohio-based Battelle Memorial Institute, a private nonprofit science and tech development company, has announced the creation of the Drone Defender, a shoulder-mounted, rechargeable, rifle-like weapon that takes UAVs offline with a blast of radio waves. The Drone Defender weighs just four and a half kilos or 10 pounds and can target a drone up to 400 meters or over 1,300 feet away. The rifle fires waves of electromagnetic energy tuned to common GPS and ISM frequencies, disabling the UAV by blocking it from receiving commands. The radio waves from a Drone Defender should activate the disabled drone's safety protocol, making it hover, land, or return to its point of origin. Battelle says the Defender could be used to protect prisons, schools, or historical sites, and of course has military and law enforcement applications as well. No information on the price of the Drone Defender has yet been released, but the device is expected to go on sale in 2016. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. China successfully tests anti-drone laser system. China says it has tested an anti-drone laser system that can shoot down slow-moving, low-flying drones. The system is able to detect small aircraft within a two-kilometer radius. The system, whose name translates as Low Altitude Guardian, can then intercept these aircraft if they are traveling at an altitude of less than 500 meters and at speeds below 50 meters per second. It can shoot them down five seconds after detecting them. The laser system can either be fired from fixed positions or mounted on vehicles. 
According to the official Xinhua News Agency, the system is expected to play a key role in ensuring security at major events in urban areas.